The mystery of how the electrons fitted inside the atom was eventually solved here in Manchester, in this building in 1911, by Ernest Rutherford. Rutherford was, in my opinion, one of the first proper particle physicists because he used beams of particles as projectiles to explore the structure of matter. Now, of course, in Rutherford's day, there was no such thing as a particle accelerator. So he used the decay of radioactive elements to produce his beams of particles. This is Rutherford's original desk. And in fact, if you hunt around a little bit, you can detect traces of radioactivity a hundred years later. Rutherford asked two of his students, Hans Geiger and Ernest Marsden, to fire some alpha particles at a piece of thin gold foil and see what happened. So imagine these tennis balls are the alpha particles. Now if the atom were as Thomson had suggested, a kind of amorphous blob, then you'd expect the alpha particles to pass right through. And that's indeed what happened to most of them. But to their surprise, they found that around one in 8,000 bounced right back. After two years of puzzling over the meaning of these results, Rutherford realized that in order for the alpha particles to bounce back, they must hit something small and dense. So his new model of the atom was a bit like the solar system, with all the mass concentrated at the center and the electrons orbiting like planets around the sun. Today, we know that this picture isn't quite correct. Quantum mechanics tells us that we can't know precisely where the electrons are, but we can predict that they reside in distinct shells around the nucleus. Rutherford's alpha particle scattering experiment was remarkably direct and simple, and it showed the nature of what the atomic structure is. By the way, the alpha particles bounced off the atom. He worked out where the positive charge of the atom lives. Rutherford had come to the astonishing conclusion that most of the atom, and therefore most of what we think of as ordinary matter, is in fact empty space. So if this apple were the atomic nucleus, the electrons would be a kilometer away. After discovering the nucleus, Rutherford continued doing experiments, firing particles at different targets to delve into the structure of the nucleus itself. By 1932, Rutherford and his colleague James Chadwick had found that the nucleus is made of two kinds of particles, positively charged protons and electrically neutral neutrons. The discovery in these experiments of neutrons and charged atoms of mass one has proved of great significance and importance and has given us a much clearer understanding of the actual structure of nuclei. 